welcome to Vlogmas week 2. It is, I'm at red, it is almost 25 past 8 on Monday morning. James is still asleep because he had a big day yesterday. We were at the markets, etc. So I need to go get him up because I need to leave like now. And uh, yeah, he needs to come with me. We are on our way. Well, we haven't left our drive yet, but we're in the car on our way. James is delighted to be awake. Delighted. It's Monday evening. I haven't vlogged everything all day. Obviously, I've been to work, but I need to show Shane this really exciting parcel that arrived. I love it. <laughs> Maternity pads. Wow. Shane, you were standing at the top of the stairs. And then these are going in James's. Um, you need this? Why? <laughs> Uh, okay, I can't, I can't tell you what we just laughed at, but um, <laughs> these are going in James's, what do you call it, Christmas stocking. Because Shane thinks it's ridiculous, but like we always used to get like fruit. That's the most ridiculous thing. Just not get fruit. The fuck would you get fruit for? I swear to God, we got an orange and an apple every single year at Christmas. But why not? Because it's Christmas. And what? You still need fruit. What I want for Christmas Day, an apple and an orange. <laughs> Even though I'm having a C-section, a plant C-section, she took a box on Burnout Way. Um, a lot of people recommended still to get the spritz for bits for my C-section scar. And then got these were on special offer, so I just got two of them. Um, one for the hospital bag, and then we'll probably just keep the other one. Like I'll maybe put it in my handbag or something like that just for um, handiness like when we're out and about or maybe like in a wee nappy caddy or whatever. But yeah, it is. Oh my God, it's half nine. I actually plan to be asleep. Right, I am going to go to the shower very quickly and then I'm going to get into bed and hopefully edit most of last week's vlogmas. I'm not going to get it up tonight because for whatever reason our internet is not working. Uh, it must be a fault, like, round here, because Shane was working from home all day, and it worked all day, and then he came home, and it just was no longer working, so, like, he couldn't have done anything, or James couldn't have done anything, so it's obviously just, like, a fault round here at the minute, which is not good, and I've just picked that psoriasis on my forehead, which is lovely, but I had Pilates this evening, that is my last Monday night Pilates, class because next week we are away. I'll fill you in on that later on in the vlog. Um, so I'm going to be going next Thursday instead because I don't want to miss the class and then there's like the Christmas break and then I think classes don't start again until the 8th of January and then it's like a six or seven week block and at that stage I'm going to be like 34 weeks-ish but because I'm going in a week early hopefully like obviously I still don't know like when exactly I'm going in but I am going early for a plan c-section yeah like I'm not going to get the full block so there's no point I don't know if I can play, pay for like half a block because then it's like using the space so like it's not fair on them if I'm only paying for half and then they've missed out on somebody going for the full block, if that makes any sense. Okay, I need to go to the shower and then I need to go to bed. So I'm just going to leave this here and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Morning everybody, it is Tuesday. Hi, I'm looking absolutely... It is... Oh God, it's 25 past 8. I need to leave here in 5 minutes. But it's Tuesday, it's another office day. I just work Monday and Tuesday and the office so it's uh, Friday for me <laughs> even though I'm working well to be fair I'm actually only working Friday and Saturday so this is a very uh, quiet week for me thank god before the like the next two weeks are mental so I'm just about to pack up my lunch and take out my rollers and then get going okay so this is lunch I have a can of Pepsi Max, 
I have a chicken and vegetable soup from Lidl. These soups are fantastic. I have my overnight oats for my breakfast. I have some grapes and some raspberries in here. Now, the most important part. I have a packet of bakers and a freddo. You need something to keep you going, you know, and then I will drink all this water absolutely no problem. So this is two litres and this is a litre and a half. One litre. So I will definitely drink three litres of water during work because oh my god i don't know whether it's, it must be a pregnancy thing i'm so thirsty all the time oh i need it um i have chicken and work like cooked chicken and i'm also taking a bagel um a brown bagel thin from Lidl, and that will be with my soup at lunchtime evening everybody it is about half five i am just home from work there i had to stop at the shop and get some stuff to make dinner and Shane is out at my mummy and daddy's collecting James. He's also getting some logs for the fire because mummy and daddy, I say mummy and daddy, daddy, well actually daddy didn't do it either. <laughs> the trees in mummy and daddy's house were all cut down so we have like firewood for basically the rest of our lives. So he's getting a couple of bags hopefully and we'll get the fire lit tonight. We have no Wi-Fi. <laughs> So I'd imagine we'll both be either doing housework or sitting reading tonight or watching normal shitty TV. Uh, like last night, I'm pretty sure she put University Challenge on. I was like, put that off, put that off right now. But um, we actually have an engineer coming tomorrow to check what's wrong. Like it just randomly stopped working. So I don't know. We haven't, we didn't do anything. She wasn't even here. So um, I can't upload last week's vlog. Um, I think I said that our internet wasn't working, but yeah, it's, st it's still not working. So I can't upload last week's vlog, which is extremely annoying for the first week of Vlogmas to be like, it's going to be Wednesday night, hopefully, that it's uploaded or else I can take the laptop out to my mommy and daddy's and do it maybe tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. But yeah, that's annoying. So Shane and James should be home soon. I don't actually know what's taking them or why they're not here yet. But we are gonna have chicken burgers tonight. So gonna have, you just do it with a chicken fillet. I need to weigh Shane's out. Obviously not weighing mine out because I'm not counting my calories or my macros. Um, some chili sauce, some like crumpled up cornflakes and stick in the air fryer and chef's kiss. So good. James, what are you drinking? What's around your face? Oh, don't dip it in. No, don't dip it in. It's very hot. Oh, it's very hot. What are you drinking? What's that here? I'm going to write the eye. It's going to stay right there. What are you drinking? Hot chocolate. Reindeer hot chocolate. Oh my goodness. Are you a spoiled boy? Yes. It looks lovely. Look at the mess of the table after your dinner too. Wow. And what's mummy having? The crocodile. And a hot chocolate, an orange hot chocolate. Orange hot chocolate? That's what colour orange? No, your colour's pink. Mine's is orange like the fruit. Wow. 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 So we've all had our dinner and... Oh, your feet. <laughs> we have all had our dinner and Shane is having a cup of tea. James is having some hot chocolate. Oh, wow. What's on your face? It's red hot chocolate, isn't it? Right now. Remember, what are we not allowed to do? Touch anything. James, you just touched your baby brother's outfit. Uh, get your hands off the carpet. Go get mommy a wipe again. Go get mommy a wipe. The outfit that we have bought for the baby's coming home outfit arrived today. It's from Boots. I, well, it's from Mother Care, but. I really struggled this time to find anything that comes as like a set that you get if the baby girl doesn't fold over into mittens that you get mittens with it or Santa ones that comes Santa 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 oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> You're weird Ow! Sing the You're I Love a Rainbow. Sing I Love a Rainbow. Can you sing the alphabet? No. Red. No. A. B. No. What are you gonna sing for Mama? I don't know. Jingle bells. No. I hear. I believe. 
I'm out, out with me. You're blue. Sing uh, a song. Uh, Sing a song. Sing a song. Come on. Red. Uh, orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. And the girl. Violet. I love a rainbow. I love a rainbow. I love a rainbow. I love a rainbow. I love rainbow. I love You mean to finish it off? Yay. Yay! That is the never ending song. Because he just keeps repeating, oh. I love the rainbow. B C G why is he singing the alphabet to the tune of I Love the Room? <laughs> Sing alphabet again. Right, do the alphabet for mommy and daddy. A, B, C, D, E, B, G, H, D, H, D, H, D, B, Q, D, F, D, W, X, Y, Z, No, but A, B, C, D, won't you sing with me? Yay! Yay! You're such a performer. Or sing and see what's going on. Let's not sing, sing anymore. Can I just finish the show? What was I saying? I've been finding it hard to find. James, stop <laughs> that. That's TK. Finding it hard to find things that came with a hat or mittens or blah blah blah. Whereas last night with James didn't have this issue at all, so this is like the nicest I could find. And <laughs> for God's sake, you two! I'm gonna cut that tongue off. No, I got it. Oh my no. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna continue. So this is what we got. So it's a wee, is it zip? No, it's not, it's buttons, but it's just. Button. We've got zip baby girls for all the other baby girls. So it's got like bears. Oh, wow. Bears, bears. a bear and a fox on it. Ooh. And holding the kite. And it's obviously blue. It's the wee matching hat with the wee ears. And then the oh, cardigan that has a fox and a bear. But why is it not a fox? On the oh, it is a fox. What did I say it was? It's a fox. Did I say it was a fox? It's a fox and a bear. No, it's <clears> on <throat> the way about. So this is the baby. He's coming home from hospital outfit. Um, please tell me the hands. Yeah. Oh, the no. sleeves go over <gasps> sleeves. like that. Hey. Oh my God, are you ready to cut hey. hey. hands? Well, they go with. Do you not remember his? When I, okay. They didn't even have to be long, but they were just so sharp. Where's my tongue go? Still there. I got it. Oh. James is in bed. You'll maybe be able to hear his white noise machine. And I can't find his monitor. <laughs> Which uh, is why you were able to hear it, but I literally I can't find the monitor. <laughs> I was just tidying downstairs and. I just had so much shit to bring upstairs, so I'm gonna put away as much of that as I can now. Here's our Christmas pajamas. There's the Secret Santa present. We do Secret Santa in our house. Rather than everybody buying everybody, we've done it since 2020 and it was fantastic idea and we will never go back to just buying everybody random gifts. I did actually get another bits order. Well, it's the same order but it just hadn't all arrived. So I'm going to show you what I got. These are in there. I actually didn't get these. Got these in Home Bargains I think last week. Then we got some disposable breast pads. Love that. Two baby sponges. Some of the bits disposable briefs haven't used those I don't think they were a thing last time and then always just great boutique pants if you know you know and then also got some of the bits baby head to toe wash and this smells exactly like 
Johnson's. So I imagine it will, will be the exact same. More than likely. And then I have two bags to open. One is for me, one is for Shane. It's a hand luggage bag because like I said about next Monday, I said that we were going to be away. So the reason that we are going away is James has his consultant's appointment in Glasgow. So if you don't know, James was born uh, with herbs palsy. He wasn't born with it. It was caused by his delivery. Uh, we'll not talk about that, but it was caused by his delivery. And it's basically, he did like um, nerve damage in his shoulder, in his right shoulder. So we have been back and forth to Glasgow since he was born. So it's been two and a half years back and forth to Glasgow and back and forth to physio appointments, etc, etc. Private physio now because that's you get what you pay for with healthcare, unfortunately. Although I do absolutely love James's NHS physio, she's brilliant, but we just don't see her enough, you know. So we started going to a private physio as well and that has been so unbelievably beneficial. So yeah, his consultant is in Glasgow and that's just where the consultant is for Scotland and Northern Ireland. It is extremely frustrating because it's a long day for, like I think one of our appointments one time was half an hour. Like, it's really annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. So we are flying over on Sunday evening because we've only flown over and stayed once before. The other times we've just flown over the morning of the appointment. But this time we're going over early and we did last time. I think I just said. Because... Uh, Last December's appointment was absolutely horrendous. It was brutal. I don't think I was, was I vlogging? I must have been because it was vlogmas. I don't remember speaking about it or anything, but it was so bad. Like we thought he was going to need surgery, thought he was going to be in a cast and a sling and all that stuff. So that was whenever the ball like really got rolling with the private physio and doing absolutely everything within our power to try prevent the surgery because like nobody wants their child to go through surgery obviously so we so the reason that I think the appointment was so bad last year was because my club were in the Ulster final on the Sunday and James had been at the match and was up really early then on the Monday morning because our flight was at like say eight o'clock or nine o'clock or something. So we were getting him up around five or six. So he had, he had had a big day the day before and then as well, obviously the, the day of the appointment he hadn't slept really and was up very early. So we went over in May the night before and he had a full night's sleep, etc. And he was just in so much better form and the appointment is always around his nap time it's at like lunchtime which isn't great but as long as he's getting the appointment I don't really care what time it's at or where it's at for that matter like I would literally go to the end of the earth for the appointment but it is just frustrating sometimes it only lasts about half an hour but yeah so this time we are my ankles have got really swollen like really swollen Sorry, I'm going off on a complete tangent. But yes, we are flying over on Sunday because we did that in May at his last appointment and it was very beneficial. The appointment was really good. Really, really good. Very positive. Um, and the problem with James's... So it's, it's technically a disability. The problem with James's disability is that we don't notice it all the time. It's almost like a hidden disability to us and he is doing so much with his right hand like the amount of you that probably would never have noticed and would never have noticed even in person like if you've met James, if you happen to have met him um, he seems absolutely fine and that's nearly the frustrating part because we then don't press for these things 
it's not until there's an x-ray done or a consultant sees him that they obviously know best and they can see the issues whereas we can't because it's nerve and like tissue damage it's not like you broke a bone you know it's not something like glaringly obvious to like the naked eye even to the parents of this child who have lit like this child has had this since birth you know like this has literally been his entire life we've never known him to not have this so that's the most frustrating part is that we get like what's the word wax like like the days ago basically Ugh, it's not the word i don't know what the word is but we just like forget that there's anything wrong with them because to the naked eye there isn't but there still is like there's you know <laughs> we wouldn't be going to glasgow every six months if there was nothing wrong with them but i am hopeful that this appointment is going to be really really good and also <laughs> my club is again in the Ulster final this Sunday and we're not going to get to it now because of the time of the flight so the match is at 4 o'clock which to me is just completely stupid um, they're usually at like 1 or 2 o'clock so we could have got a late evening flight but James still would have got like his full night's sleep but no the match is at 4 o'clock so we originally had been booked on the 10 past 7 flight but now we're going at like 11 so that we can just get over to Glasgow early like chill in the hotel go watch the match in an Irish bar or wherever we can find it and I don't know just make the most of it but yeah I can't believe I'm missing the match like I really can't believe I'm missing the match my heart's broke but then at the same time what is more important I'm going to go put away all this stuff and then I'm just going to go to bed because it's 25 to 10 and I still need to finish editing last week's vlog. So I'm going to put away as much as I can in the next like 10 minutes and then night time. Say good morning. Say welcome to Wednesday. Wednesday. So it is 10 to 11, James and I are heading out to my mummy and daddy's. We actually hadn't planned on going out today, really, because my mummy usually works in Belfast on a Wednesday, but she's not today, she's working from home, so it's nice. So we'll go ahead and see them. Uh, and then we are gonna go to Home Bargains because we just have a few things to get. No, you're coming out of the kitchen. So we went out to my mummy and daddy's and then went to Home Bargains. I'm gonna show you what I got. Got this color for James. These socks are going in his stocking. I'm not going to what? Got candle. It's this called Evergreen see, Spruce. I see camera. You see my camera? Look at them big tears for nothing. So, do you want some pancakes? And Papa Ham. I can see him. Alright, you're gonna sit out there, and Mummy's gonna make you some lunch. Okay, okay. we'll re we'll resume this after. James is now down for his nap. We just sat had lunch together. We're really trying to reduce reduce really trying to reduce screen time for James. So we sat out in the kitchen. Both of us sat at the kitchen table. And then our lunch together, it was lovely. So he is now in bed, it is 13.41. And I'm just gonna sit for like 15 minutes, scroll my phone, I've made myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna have the goat, white chocolate coated Oreos. They are, oh my God, the nicest thing ever. It's like 218 calories, but I don't even care. They're just so, so nice. So I'm gonna sit and have a wee bit of chill time. I'm waiting a BT to arrive. Between one and six. How broad. How broad. BT have come and gone. James has. That's okay. James has. Uh, James has woke from his nap. It's like half four. Quarter to five maybe. And we need to. 25 to five. We need to go because we're doing something very exciting tonight. We are getting a 4D scan, so I was actually invited up to get this scan, which is very exciting. 
very exciting. It's at a place in Derry called Ultrasound Scan Clinic. They're just newly opened, so it's good like promo for them, I suppose. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see the baby see if he looks anything like James. And I think we also get like a heartbeat teddy bear, which obviously James will be in because he will just love that. He's currently watching Blue, if you can tell, but I got loads of housework done whenever he was asleep, and even when BT were here, uh, which was good. And I also got a bit of makeup on, and I really, really need to wash my hair. Oh, an Amazon parcel arrived for me, and I left it in. It's actually conditioner, which I had intended on washing my hair last night, and then I realized that I didn't have any conditioner <laughs> left. I always use the Alpha Power uh, Semi Delino moisturizing range for dry hair and this is just a repurchase of the conditioner. I always get the big bottles on Amazon and they're like 20 something pound. So works out much cheaper. And yeah, I have shampoos, so I don't need to get any shampoos, so I just got the conditioner. But I am about to put James's stuff in the car. So we've got his jammies and stuff because I think we're gonna be stopping with Shane's brother and his wife and to see our nephew. So, because they live in Derry, so. We're gonna see them hopefully after, depending on what time, like, or how long the scan takes. And then we're getting a McDonald's for dinner before the scan. So, health queen. We are in Derry now. We are just at McDonald's. Well, what are you eating? Tips. Tips? Are you having some chicken nuggets? <coughs> okay. Is there straws? Oh, there is. Yeah. I'm having a McCrispy with cheese meal. Have you had the McCrispy? Yeah. It's so nice, isn't it? Holy strawberry milkshake. Also, I did, a, I did a silly. I forgot to bring Shane clothes. So Shane is going to our 4 day scan. Looking like this. Looking like that. And it's actually worse that it's like a gifted 4 day scan. I don't know why it's worse. It just it's is. Your fault. It is my fault. Time. Daytime. It's daytime. daytime. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. I don't think I've spoke to you since our McDonald's last night, but we went for our four-day scan, and oh my god, he's so gorgeous. He looks obviously it's hard to tell, but or like at this stage especially, uh, he looks like he's the complete double of James. Like, I mean, he looks the exact same, but he might be born and look completely different. But I will insert probably a few clips from the scan here. So James and I are now, yes? What are you? Where are we going now? I told you where we were going. Where? Fit. To the fit. The physio. We are going to James's physio. So your physio. His appointment is at half 10. It is currently 10 to 10 at the minute, so we are just on our way. But James, show everybody what you've got. What have you got in your hand? My teddy bear. Your teddy bear. And what's it? What's in your teddy bear? My 
Your, your baby brother's heartbeat. It is the cutest thing. Oh my god. It is just adorable. I've been the worst vlogger today and actually just this week in general. But specifically today I've been uber bad. So James had his appointment this morning and then I had my consultant appointment there this afternoon. Baby boy is growing perfectly. He is a normal size, which is a nice change from James. James was £10.2, so he was on like the 90 something something. That doesn't make sense. 90 something centile. Um, and this baby is like just above the 50th, so he is going to be a normal size. Hopefully, I also just. Ignore the mess of this room. I'm gonna hopefully get it done tonight, but I would say tonight will be another late, late night home. This isn't great for James, but this what is. I am quickly just fixing my hair a wee bit because it has been lashing all fucking day. Like, I mean, it has rained constantly. It is not raining now. <laughs> Which is great because we are heading out to Antrim Castle Gardens Enchanted Winter Garden. We went there last year and it was absolutely Baltic, but this year it it's mild today, which is nice. But I am not. I'm literally not even putting on any makeup. I look absolutely horrendous. Oh my god! But you know what? Who cares? But James is just finishing his dinner and then we are literally going straight away. Shane just needs to get changed. Are you getting changed out? Huh? So Shane's getting changed and then bring it on. And then we are gonna go. And we were meant to be there for five, but I forgot that Shane was in the office today. Um so we're not there for five but I messaged them and they said it was fine and that we could be there for six or around six and it is currently 25 past five and it's 25 minutes away so we do need to go home. Why is it green? Weird. Say hi. Say hi to mommy. Hello mommy. <laughs> What's your name? We're on a bus. What's your name? And what's mommy's name? Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? We're here. I think we're gonna try going the first wheel. We didn't get on it last year. <gasps> what colours are they? Red. Red. Yellow. Green. <gasps> we're starting off our eating with some. Oh, out of focus. Um, Christmas sugar donuts. Excited for these. Smell lovely. So we're in the like food area a bit. I need a donut. You need a donut. You see down there. Wow. Isn't that amazing, pet? Amazing! Have you had a good time? Have you? Yes. yes. Look at pee your mummy is. Wow. Oh, where's daddy? Oh, Hi there. Hi. Hi. Where are we? On uh, the big wheel. We're on the big wheel. Tell daddy to look at the camera too. Look at the camera too. <laughs> what an absolutely gorgeous wee evening. James just had the best time. He. Loved that so much, he came home absolutely disgusting. <laughs> like, I don't know what he'd be doing. Like, it looked like he was actually rolling about a muck. Like, I don't know. But I'm in bed and it's quarter to ten. She and his downstairs watching The Crown because he has brain cells and he's eventually started watching The Crown. If you haven't watched it, oh my god, it's so good. The final installment of the last ever season is out. In nine days actually it's 16th of December I'm pretty sure it's out but yeah he's downstairs watching that I'm on bed I'm gonna read because I was up at 
20 past 5 to go to the gym so I am really really tired. She and I made me a cup of tea as well which was so nice of him. So I'm going to sit and read, drink my cup of tea, take my pregnant care and head to sleep. James is already asleep. He went straight to sleep when we put him to bed. Uh, we were literally only in. Like he was maybe going to bed at quarter past nine. So two late nights in a row. I'm praying he has a lie on tomorrow morning. Because I need it as well. Even if I go to sleep right now, my face looks red. Even if I go to sleep right now, I still want a lie on tomorrow morning. <laughs> Good morning everybody. It is Saturday. That is the reason that I'm awake. Our smoke detector is dying, obviously, but this is the first time that it's ever beeped, so it's not like dead. Um so it obviously needs a new battery. But I started to go off at ten to seven on a Saturday morning. Kinda sick joke is that. Thank the Lord that James is not here. How much she instead in his always last night so I'm home alone. I'm actually going to the gym this morning. Thank God because oh my god if I had been looking a lion and that thing had started going off I swear I'd have been so raging. Like so raging. But I've been arm set for twenty past. Um that was my time to get up. It's now ten past. And uh I'm just gonna read until then because I'm obviously not gonna get back to sleep. Oh my god, it is 20 to 8 and it looks like it's fucking 20 to 5. It is so dark this morning. Like, ridiculously dark. What the hell? And it's also lashing. We are home from the gym. It's time to stick on the kettle for a cup of tea. And then I'm going to FaceTime the boys. So I went into. I went to the post office after the gym there. I had a few returns to do because two of my friends are getting married in December. So I've ordered every dress that there's ever been online um, that I think might actually sit. Uh, like it was really bad. So yeah, returned those because obviously nothing, nothing's right. But I, th I think I'm sorted now. But when I was in, so what's it, our post office is in a shop. So it said to pick up two more dodos for baby boy. So we've got Tommy Tippy ones. And then also I saw these and I thought, right, well, James is going to love them. So these are going in his S-T-O-C-K-I-N-G. Just in case there's any children listening. I'm going to talk about S-A-N-T-A. <laughs> Some Paw Patrol sunglasses. I mean, he won't need them for a while, but the thing just came off. Like, I did buy them, but it literally just came off in the car. The thing that said Paw Patrol on them, which is kind of annoying, but yeah. He will love them. I'm looking hot. <laughs> right, I need to make my cup of tea and then go ring my boy. Wow, it is dull and just like dreary today. But I am just about to start sorting out James's room. So James's room needs a good gutton. Like a good gutton. Also, I don't know where my... It's like the bottom bit for my tripod that like attaches onto the bottom of my camera so that it's like stable. I know where my actual tripod is. I don't know how I've misplaced the other part of it. And I've seen it. Like I remember thinking, ah, oh, that's where that is. Now I can't remember where that is. So you are currently sitting on um, a bookshelf with a toy husky on it. So, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna get stuck in here. I was actually planning on moving these drawers to here, but they're too wide. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do, because we need to buy the baby a new set of drawers. So I'm thinking we're gonna move these ones and use these for the baby and get James slimmer and taller ones and they can go at this wall. I just think it'll leave so much more room here um, because this is kind of just waits, wasted space. Um, there is a big shelf and there's like a wee seat thing which he doesn't even use so we're probably just going to get rid of that to be very honest. Um, like I mean he never ever uses that. He, well he used it at the start for like a couple of days, a couple of weeks and that was it so that is going to go. Um, 
But yeah, need to get stuck into this because it is 12 o'clock. I've just procrastinated far too much. I went down our, I really said our boys are in the Ulster final tomorrow. So our Kamogi Club was doing a big breakfast fundraiser thing for it. So I went down and had my breakfast down there and I suppose I helped out. I didn't help out at all. I just was down there. Uh, I was down there for about an hour. So yeah, and then I came up and then I just, and sat my phone which is stupid so stupid Hannah but sure we'll get going also I'm like double vlogging today I'm doing a TikTok as well so um <laughs> this is funny sorry if you're watching all this stuff twice so I'm just gonna start off by emptying out James's drawers like completely gotten all the drawers so they're gonna look it's gonna look so much worse and it already is. This is for tomorrow, so I'll set anything. I know we're bringing to Glasgow on his bed because I need to get him packed. But yeah, let's get stuck into this. <laughs> my door is just open it makes it look like there's like no room in here but I am going to put away all these clothes they're just hanging up my reel at the minute I'm going to put them away into the wardrobe after I go to the shower because I still haven't showered James is down for a nap he has been for about an hour and a half probably I'm gonna say but I am just updating his iPad as well I'm um, gonna download some episodes of Paw Patrol that is what he's into at the minute. Oh, I saw hats. Um, yeah, that's what he's into at the minute. So hopefully a couple of those downloaded will see us through the flight. <laughs> Which is like, you're up and then you're straight back down. <laughs> but yeah, I really need to go to the shower because I stink. Mummy's, is mummy's chair wobbly? <gasps> a coming? <laughs> I'm taking a picture, mummy. <laughs> Who's that boy? <laughs> Who's that gorgeous boy? Oh, Cody, yeah. It's a good. A light, eh? A light. Oh, wow. Oh. <gasps> I, I sit up. Wait, you sit up. It's not wobbly, my. It is wobbly. It's not wobbly. It is. It's not. <gasps> wow, love the light. Right, so I'm just getting the last few bits packed for tomorrow. Oh shit, I meant to say which. Oh, yay! Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that now, please. No. Nah. Okay, we'll continue. So, we have just had our dinner there. James and I had a bit of a chippy, my mummy and daddy came in and they were getting a chippy and I thought that sounds good so I had just some festive fries oh there's my eyelash serum I could not find it but it is now seven o'clock and I am working half nine to half eleven tonight so I'm just going to get myself ready now and then it means 
a wee bit more time with James before he goes to sleep and also I will be able to watch Strictly. I haven't actually watched it live in weeks so I'm excited to watch it live. Also look how much sparser this eyebrow is than my left. I don't know what happened but like a pile of hairs just fell out especially in the front of my right eyebrow. I am going to put like a full face of makeup on. Um, I'm really pale but I'll just put on a really pale foundation but I feel like I have to because I cannot be bothered getting like properly dressed tonight and I can't be like not properly dressed and not done up. I can have to be like one or the other if that makes sense so I need to put a bit of effort into my hair and makeup. Ah oh, the wee baby! He's a wee baby. I'm a baby. I'm a baby. You're a baby. A baby. Are you mommy's baby for the meantime. James, is mommy getting a new baby? Mommy's getting an upgrade. Sheen. You're going to bed now. It's time for bed. Can you see what? <laughs> you need to see Strictly. I see that way. No, you don't want to see Strictly. You have to go to bed. Come on, bedtime. What? <laughs> I need to watch Strictly. Ready to go to work. Also, still watching Strictly. But I also have to go, but late and got another 40. Telling you this, like nobody cares, nobody else probably watching my channel is uh, as old internally as I am. <laughs> so, yeah, I get my iPad and then I'm going to work. Home from work, I'm just doing some last minute packing for tomorrow. Not even really packing, just kind of getting stuff sorted. Oh, it's got a shiver. Okay, I need to go to bed. We're on the plane. <laughs> We're on the airplane. Aww. What's an airplane? Say. <laughs> <laughs> We've got baby brother with us. <laughs> we are in Glasgow. I'm getting into bed. I am so tired. I can't. You get on beside me, okay. Was he there? Yeah. Like waiting on you? Oh, no. He's me on the oh my god. So we are having McDonald's in bed. Come on, you can get up. Come on. Do yourself. You need a hand. Come on. Hurry up! <laughs> we got there. We got there in the end. So yeah, we're literally having McDonald's in bed. It is. I got beside me. Like what time is it? Twenty to two. Twenty to two. That's what we're having for lunch. I'm here, Mike. I'm here. You're here, huh? Where what? Where are we going to eat? In bed. Um. Okay, in bed, guys. Oh my Whoa, this is right, we'll nice. Sit, we'll all sit up and eat it, will we? And will we maybe put a wee towel over us? Towel. So I'm having chicken what? slacks, which I never have. Where is that? Oh my god, this is that's pretty strong for What is that my? That's Paddington Bear. That can go on our Christmas tree. It's going our Christmas tree. Yeah. No, we're not got Christmas tree, Mike. No, we don't have a Christmas tree here. We're going out to at home. Um, but yeah, we. Oh uh, my god! <gasps> my Richard! Richard, you're a spoiled boy. We had a very turbulent flight. Oh, sick boy. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the shortest flight I've ever been on. Sorry, that's a lie. Second shortest flight I've ever been on. But that was the worst flight I've ever been on. Shortest Yeah. But we, she and I both felt so sick the whole way. James was absolutely fine. He was so good on the flight. Weren't you an angel? 
No. <laughs> you were an angel. No. You're an angel. I light on. The light's on. God. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Shh. My goodness. So it's stuck in the lift. Oh, Lord. Mm, yeah, she and I felt both just so sick. It was uh, like they wouldn't even, they weren't serving hot drinks because of the risk of it spilling. Like, it wasn't just us, like it was actually, like I'm a good flyer. You're a good flyer too. Well. <laughs> Shane. <laughs> you need a straw for your drink. Yeah, we have had a really, honestly, a bad day. It has been a bad day. Yeah. Jam for a start, James wouldn't sleep. Neither James go to sleep around two o'clock for about an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, he must have fallen asleep at mm -hmm. ten past three. Yeah. And we were, I set an alarm for ten past three to leave. No, to get up and get sorted. Because, like I've said on this vlog, my club, which is why I'm dressed like this, we're in the Ulster Club final today and obviously we're in Glasgow for my son's hospital appointment. So I contacted a bar during the week and they said, yep, we'll be showing it, blah, blah, blah. So we arrived at said bar. No, we're not showing it. Can't find the remote to get the Irish channels. Sorry, pal. I was like, right. Couldn't get on TG Car Player. Then eventually got it on TG Car Player when I disabled my location. How ridiculous is that you can't just get that everywhere, but whatever. So then, once I dis disabled that, it was working and it was grand. Got back to the hotel with it literally still on my phone. Like, we must, must have watched the first, like, it was half time when I got the game no. back on my phone. Look how typical is that? Uh -huh. Um, Got back to the hotel and it just stopped. It, it just stopped working. It wouldn't let me into it. It just kept saying error. Um, but they won. And also we had contacted every lovely, <laughs> every Irish bar in Glasgow to try and see if they were showing it and nowhere was. So I'm having a full fat Coke to celebrate the win. I have clearly been crying. I think it's pretty clear. Is it clear my face that I've been crying? Um, because I thought obviously that we weren't going to see the match. I was actually Devastated. Oh, didn't really no, but I thought then, like, oh. I know, I know, but it's okay, they won, and it isn't the end of the season. Ah, don't give me that now. I can watch it. Ah, she zoomed in. So then that kind of left us with nowhere to eat dinner because we just assumed that, like, I just assumed that we were going to eat. This is my life, and this is going to be my life even more because of this guy. Oh, God. Oh. What was I saying? I know. Yeah, we thought we were going to have dinner like in Glasgow because we're a bit out of Glasgow here at the minute. Uh, we thought we were going to eat dinner in there, and we had obviously Uber Eats. Like, we had McDonald's for lunch, so we can't eat that again. So we're literally going down and having. Stop that. Um, yeah, we're literally just having. <laughs> we're going down to eat in the travel lodge, which I'm sure is going to be Michelin star, but whatever. As long as we get food. And then it'll be early to bed for all of us. Although now I just feel like awake because I'm. I feel like awake because I'm so drained. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? You're putting daddy's hat on. Why are you incapable of putting the hat on? Wow. <laughs> yeah, we are just tidying up the hotel room because it's a bit of a mess. I break lots of mine. Oh no, sorry, I threw them. Over there. Uh, came up the chair. Bit of a mess, but is what it is. 
James and I just had a lovely bath, didn't we? I actually think I'm just going to end this vlog here. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh my god, again. No, we didn't. I'm just. That was James's head. Literally, like, are you a rhino? Are you a rhino? <laughs> like, he literally went through four pairs under that. What are you doing? And he knocked off the camera. You want some water? Yes, water. <laughs> anyway, I am going to end the vlog here and I think I'm just going to edit it. Yeah. And maybe get it uploaded. Yes. 10 to 8, and what? this man will be going to sleep around 8. Well, we'll be trying to get him to sleep. Trying to? Oh, that was a nightmare earlier. I'll update you in next week's vlog for how long it actually took for him to go to sleep. How long it is going to take for him to go to sleep tonight. So, thanks very much for watching Vlogmas Week 2. Come back next week for Week 3. More say, say come back next week. James, say, say come, come back, back next week. week. Say come back next week. <laughs> and there's the camera. What the money? Right, come on. Say, come back next week. Come back this week. And say, I love you. I don't love say, you. Say, <laughs> my love. Get me out of here. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>